Ken Corla, last week the Central Statistics Office published the headline crime statistics for 2007 and they are the worst for several years. Last quarter of 2007 uh, headline crimes 6% um, up on the corresponding period in 2006. Now, as we know, the headline crimes, crimes are the more serious crimes that are uh, recorded. And in two, 2007, there were almost 105,000 headline crimes recorded in this state, uh, which is um, over 2,000 serious crimes per week, or almost 300 per day. And among them were the uh, crime of murder, uh, up from 60 to 78 in 2007. The highest number of killings that occurred in the state since the Civil War. And um, we've seen a continuation of that over the past couple of weeks. Uh, gun murder in uh, Sligo recently, uh, with the attempted murder of a well-known criminal in Dublin in recent weeks. And yesterday, uh, it would appear uh, that we're now exporting our gang wars to Spain. Now, I don't subscribe to the notion that every time there's, there's a crime, it's the government's fault. But I do say that it is government's responsibility to reverse the trend uh, of increasing crime uh, in this state. And it is an objective uh, that the government itself has set itself on a number of occasions. So can I ask the Taoiseach uh, again if he would take up a number of proposals which have been made by the Labour Party? Firstly, in respect of legislation, two pieces of legislation uh, which we have on the order paper. One is to put the witness protection programme on a statutory basis and the second is to improve uh, the surveillance which the Gardaí can engage in. And secondly, can I ask him if he would take up our proposal to greatly increase the number of community Gardaí um, and if in particular uh, he would or arrange for his Minister for Justice to talk with the Garda authorities about deploying uh, increasing numbers of uh, Gardaí as community Gardaí from the increased numbers of Gardaí which are now graduating uh, or will be shortly graduating from uh, Temple Moor. And in that context could I remind him, and I was reminded of this recently uh, when the very welcome uh, announcement was made of the plans to re uh, renew the area of Moy Ross in Limerick, of a statement or a speech which was made in this House on the 11th of March 1992 by the late Deputy Jim Kemi, where he then described uh, the conditions uh, in that city and in parts uh, of that city, and where his simple request at that time was for a 24-hour guard of presence uh, in some uh, of those states. And it's a great pity uh, that the stitch in time approach, which was recommended by Deputy Kenny back then, uh, wasn't taken. It might have saved a lot uh, in the meantime. But I think we can learn from it. And I would ask the Taoiseach if he would um, take up those two approaches, which the Labour Party has been recommending for some time to deal with the escalating crime problem in the country. And Taoiseach. Thank you. Well, um, can I call it the Taoiseach is a great man for quoting uh, statistics to suit his purpose and he regularly uh, regales us here with uh, uh, invidious comparisons between the time that he took up office in 1997 uh, and today in respect of matters relating to the economy in particular. Uh, but I'd remind him that when he did come to office, he came to office uh, on the promise of zero tolerance of crime. Uh, we've now ended up uh, tolerating, uh, or with the country being asked to tolerate, uh, a level of levels of crime which are far higher uh, than at the time uh, that he uh, took uh, office. Um, as he says, many of these crimes, and in particular uh, the crimes that we've seen in recent time, the gang-related crimes, uh, are of course linked uh, to the drugs trade. Uh, and he's right that. A lot of these crimes are, are now international. There's a lot of border hopping uh, being done by, by criminals. But we, we are in an age when surveillance technology should be capable of narrowing down 
who these criminals are, what they're up to, and should be able to put them behind bars. We've seen in recent times, for example, convictions being secured on the basis of the tracking of uh, mobile phones or the location uh, of, of mobile phones. And it is with that in mind that the Labour Party has proposed to the government uh, that a number of measures should be taken, including the improvement of uh, the powers of the Gardaí uh, for surveillance and the use of that surveillance uh, in our courts uh, to secure uh, convictions, assisted by uh, witness protection uh, programmes, so that these criminals are not able to uh, avoid uh, justice and to uh, slip off to the sun or wherever they, uh, they go to when the crimes are committed or to live off the proceeds of, uh, of crimes. So this is an area, uh, Count Corla, where frankly uh, the government has not delivered as it promised to deliver. Um, I don't want to uh, continue um, an argument of blaming the government for it, but I do think that we need to see some more action and more urgency particularly the legislation proposals and the proposals on community policing have been on the table for some time now and I, I would like to see some uh, action being taken by government to deliver on them.